We have two decoy ducks right here, and you guys are probably wondering what we're gonna do with them. We also have this decoy duck right here with a GoPro attached to her. So let's go see what we're gonna do with all these decoy ducks inside of the aviary. All right, Cassandra, hold the duck, turn it on. I'm gonna go to the other side of the pond. This is 95 feet long, so I'm gonna run all the way down here. You guys see that? I didn't know it was already starting. There's a ring teal already inside of there. Oh my God. Hey guys, you like my duck? Well, welcome back to another video here at the ranch today you guys we have three decoy ducks and what we're about to do is we're gonna go take these guys to the aviary and we have a gopro attached to this fake duck right here because i don't think it would be nice to put a gopro on one of our exotic waterfowl because they're not gonna like it whatsoever maybe a really really tame farm duck but the exotic waterfowl is not gonna do good you guys saw we did a video with our turtles underwater with the gopro it was absolutely amazing well today i want to get footage for you guys on top of the water down low with how the ducks bird eye view looks like so we're gonna take this guy right here inside of there i'm not too sure if they're gonna be really spook i'm not too sure if they're gonna be scared but i have a real big feeling that they might attack this duck will they will they not put it down in the comments let's go check out the aviary so we attached a fishing rod with string to our decoy duck we're gonna place it on one side of the aviary let go of the line and let this guy record and go across. So let me know what you guys think with the awesome footage from the GoPro. So you guys are probably wondering why with fishing rod and why fishing string? Well, the decoy duck doesn't have a motor on it and it's just gonna sit in one spot and do 360s. We don't want that. We wanna look like we're part of the pond with the ducks. All the ducks, the ducks, the ducks are inside of the pond and I think they're ready to get recorded. Let's do it. All right, Cassandra, hold the duck turn it on i'm gonna go to the other side of the pond this is 95 feet long so i'm gonna run all the way down here all right so i put the duck down and blake is now pulling the duck seeing if we get anything oh he hit a tree so none of the ducks wanted to come by the decoy duck they were really really scared but if i press this right here on youtube the white faced tree ducks reply back very, very quickly on a call of them on YouTube, as you guys can hear. So they wanted to come and check out where that duck was coming from. So they didn't care about this duck whatsoever. So while that duck is doing its thing over there, all tangled up, recording, I'm gonna show you something real quick because we're talking about our ducks. Season's around the corner, so make sure you guys are hitting me up if you're interested in waterfowl because we are going to be having ah flipping a flipping a no you're gonna break my phone what's in there oh my god you guys see that i didn't know it was already starting there's a ring teal already inside of there oh my god freaking got my talk. So you want to put your fingers back in there? All right. So like I was just saying, the ducks are starting. And that means that we're going to have waterfowl coming very, very soon. It's going to be really, really awesome. We've already had ducks inside all the nest boxes. And I didn't think they were already going to start laying. So in the next about 26 days or so, we're going to have ducklings on the ranch. Stay tuned, you guys, because in a few months, we're going to have a ton available. Let's go check our duck and see how he's looking. He's looking like uh, he's not moving too much. None of the waterfowl is very, very interested in anything whatsoever. And, um... Oh, look, that one. Uh-oh, we got a male. But you know what's funny? He's there. His girlfriend is inside. That's why. Oh, look at this guy. Wait, what's up, buddy? What you doing, buddy? What are you doing over there? And I thought about it, you guys. And I really thought about it. This aviary is absolutely massive. I've seen so many people, so many more birds inside of it. I really didn't want to get any more birds but i think it is and i'm thinking i'm gonna get two more species of small species of waterfowl for this aviary put it down in the comments you guys what species do you guys think we should get because i already have them in mind but i want to see if you guys can name it and you guys know exactly which ones i'm talking about so i'm just here on the swing hanging out seeing if the duck gets anything else it looks like it's really just getting my feet over here but um you guys cassandra's like why more waterfowl why should we get more waterfowl so she really wants to get more species of birds that fly in the air like the Taroko, like this one right here looking straight at us. So that there's more birds in the canopy section, which I agree, I think that's right. So what do you think we should get? Let me know, 2023. 
is up for a lot of new things for the aviary. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, you guys. This GoPro on a duck absolutely sucked. The turtle one, if you guys haven't checked that one out yeah, I definitely suggest you guys go check that out because we saw all the amazing fish, all the turtles swimming down below. It was a lot, lot much cooler than this. Um, Give me another idea what you guys think I should do with the GoPro. Maybe like a 24-7 video of this on a time lapse right here watching what happens in the aviary in 24 hours. Maybe we could do something like that. But if that's the thing, then that means Sandra's going to have a long night because she's going to have to come over here and change out the batteries a lot. But I think I would actually connect a battery, uh, like a cable to the GoPro, can we? I've seen Aquascape do that before. We're going to have to do that. Check this out, you guys. We have a pair of brown water snakes right here sitting in their little spot they absolutely love this little section of the pond and they just like hide right there and hang out the smaller one i think is the male and the bigger one's the female if i'm wrong let me know in the comments but it's happening at this pond and it's happening on our other pond as well and they're just living their best life in this aquascape ecosystem without a doubt um other than that you guys everyone's doing absolutely amazing and you know how we said in the video earlier that we had those ring seals nesting? Well, we should go hunt for the white cheek pintail. That male right there, his girlfriend is somewhere in this aviary and I have no idea where. And she is nesting somewhere right now. So um, I'm gonna go search around and maybe we can find how many eggs she's sitting on. So you guys saw how I was making noise in the bottom of the pond, but now look, the white-faced tree ducks came to the top of the wetland to come and check out this duck right here. And they're like, what the heck are you with three eyeballs? The camera and the two eyes looking at us. They're the most curious waterfowl that we have here inside the uh, aviary. And they're really, really neat. I really hope they do produce this year so that we can have a whole little family of these beautiful white-faced tree ducks and be able to offer them to you guys as well. And look, they're getting a little caught up on the string right there, but they'll be all right. They has no hook, nothing on there whatsoever. So they're all good. And uh, I know I just said, I was trying to look for the white cheek pintail, but no luck whatsoever. We're gonna have to wait until she comes out to come find food and then follow her back to her nest. This enclosure is so luscious and so nice now that it is actually becoming very hard to find the animals inside this enclosure, which was the goal. So that they always feel like they are wild and living their best life. Everything is so filled in and it's absolutely amazing. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the ranch. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Put your post notifications on because we always have crazy, different, cool, awesome ideas here on the ranch for you guys. And uh, 2023 just started and we're about to start traveling and going to go see some amazing facilities coming soon. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.